All right, hi guys, and welcome to this, the model blocking page of Croc. This is the very first page of a multiple part modeling series for modeling Croc. This is the first page, and we're going to prepare the model here in Maya, ready for ZBrush by quickly creating all the forms here. Maya is a little bit of an easier package to model all the parts quickly and efficiently, and it keeps the model nice and simple. There's a few tips to know, so that's what this page is about. Quickly get your block together and send it off to ZBrush. And so the next page is focusing on ZBrush, but it's worth just having a quick look at how that works here. It's really easy to join all the forms here and create a quick base mesh ready for sculpting. So the blocking is really the foundation of this, the next sculpting phase. The better that the block is, the easier that the sculpt will take form. We want to focus on the whole and then get to the sculpt very quickly, followed by the animation base mesh, which is the final mesh we'll be animating. So a few tips here. One of those is definitely getting your reference right. If you can match your reference well, then everything sort of falls into place from there. Too many students, and I see a lot of people out there, are not following reference accurately. And so here we've got a nice animated setup, it puts keyframes on the image planes in a variety of different setups so you can match really well. And then we've got a bit of a way of thinking about your models. Uh, what happens is everyone sort of looks at the details straight away when they see these things that's in green and they sort of get a bit overwhelmed by that and get lost. What you've really got to do when you're planning your block is just to look at the big shapes. And by looking at the big shapes and how they connect together, that's really where the appeal and the forms really live. That's where the most important parts of your model are. If you don't get the block and the, and the big shapes right, then saving it later in the details is really, really difficult. So that's what this section of the page is about. Okay, and this next section is about more of the technical details. And we've got a few videos here on uh, having a look at croc and how to make some of the shapes simpler, including this video here, which sort of talks about the tools and how you can get your shapes really simple and nice without the lumps that you often get in other workflows. And then it's on to sculpting. So Maya is not very well known for its sculpting abilities, but in this workflow, since we're going to a quite a dense mesh and going across to ZBrush, there's no reason why we can't use the sculpting tools here just to flesh out the forms a little bit more while we've got that reference set up. So this covers some tricks and tips for the sculpting tools in Maya. And then finally, it's off to ZBrush. So it's preparing the mesh, making sure your scales are correct, getting into the mode of figuring out where the DynaMesh scale sits and how the grid size in ZBrush is, matching that all correctly. We've got all the dimensions for you ready to go. A couple of cool little tips and workflows in order to get your model into ZBrush. So there you go, guys, a blocking croc in Maya.